Hello. Today I'm going to be telling you guys something extremely, extremely important, alright? Sherlock Holmes. I'm not talking about the BBC series, okay? We're talking about fucking Sherlock Holmes, the books, okay? Listen, this book right here, Ignore, ignore the Sodian Scarlet, Sign Up For, is not the best Sherlock Holmes book. Everyone keeps saying it is, but I swear to God, Hound of Baskerville is right fucking there, okay? Valley of Fear, I haven't actually read Valley of Fear yet, sorry guys, I'm a fake fan, but I'm a fan enough to know that Hound of Baskerville fucking slaps way harder than Sign of Four, and I'm so sick and tired of people saying Sign of Four is the best Sherlock Holmes story. It is not. It is not. Okay. Listen, does Sign of Four have a fucking epic manor? A gothic manor with a fucking moor? I didn't think so. And also, just the, the whole twist in Sign of Four is so stupid to me. Like, it's this whole treasure hunt, right? And, um, there's, like, this, like, there's, like, mysterious, like, oh, how this, how this guy commit all these murders? Like, it's so mysterious how there's, like, weird footprints, and he seems to, like, disappear and reappear and shoot people with poison darts. The fucking answer... Oh. Oh, my dog, my dog wants to leave. this little guy. He's little guy. He's so cute. He's a good boy. Do you want to help me roast sign of four? But sign of four? Okay, so like they set up this whole mystery. It's like, how, how did this guy like break in or whatever? And the answer is fucking racism. It's literally racism. It's like, oh, there's this tribe of people that are like super short and like super athletic and can do backflips and shoot people with poison darts. It's like, what is this bullshit? You're just making shit up. This feels like a children's like make-believe contests like you're like oh well actually um these people can breathe underwater and shoot fire like i don't give a shit this is such a dumb answer it's so anticlimactic look at this little cutie meanwhile the chad hound of baskerville not only had like an interesting setup like it was like oh this mysterious uh, mythos of this like demon dog you somehow cause the death of this guy. And it's like, oh, what is this, like, mystery? And then you find out, and I feel satisfied. Like, it's kind of stupid, as all Sherlock Holmes twists should be. It's like some fucking Scooby-Doo shit. Lest we forget Silver Blaze, where, in fact, the horse was the murderer. Favorite short story, by the way. Like, that shit doesn't make me mad, because it's not, well, first of all, it's not fucking, like, racism, like some bullshit eugenics shit that's literally inside a four. But it's also, I don't know, fun. It doesn't feel like the author, uh, Sir Conan Doyle, was like, fuck, I don't know, man. Like, there's a tribe of people that fucking, they could do, like, backflips and shit, man. They, they caused the murder. Like, that, that doesn't make any sense, okay? Like, I don't know. Like, at least Dr. Stapleton in Hound of Baskerville was not only, like, an interesting villain, and I don't think he was, like, like, I mean, I think we could all kind of see the man was sus, but it was more about, like, how did he do it? And, like, why? And I think the fact that that is a mystery and it's set up at the beginning and it does not feel, like, just, like, fucking made up in the last third act, like, the fucking sign up for bullshit was. Like, I understand that, like, the romance between Watson and the girl was, that was quite fun. That was cute. I like that. That was cute. Uh, and like, you know, it was great to see the girl's family prosper, but I, I kind of can't feel that much sympathy when it was just some like random ass treasure that really wasn't theirs to begin with. Like, I don't know, man. I, I just feel like if we're talking about like what story just hits the most, I just don't understand why Sign Up For seems to be like the book that everyone talks about. Like every time... I meet someone who reads Sherlock Holmes. I always ask, oh, what's your favorite book? They always say Sign of Four. A couple people say Hound of Baskerville, which I am very glad for, or His Last Bow or something. But it just confuses me so much why Sign of Four specifically seems to have gotten people's hearts when Hound of Baskerville is right here, baby. It's right here, okay? And there's a cool-ass dog in it, and there's a gothic manor in a moor, and the villain catches bugs and shit it's cool as hell sure he like forces his wife to act like his sister that's a little weird 
But like he's like evil and shit, you know? He like has her like chained up or something. Like he's like comedically evil. It's great. It's a great villain. It's a great story. Fucking Sherlock Holmes, he just starts camping out. Just starts camping out on the moor. He doesn't tell Watson. He's like, yeah, bro, I'm just gonna leave. Bro was there the entire time. What a legend. What a legend. Like, shit, shit is so peak. And I, like, I can remember parts of Sign of Four because it enraged me so much reading it. Because I came in knowing that this was, like, I expected it to be fucking amazing. Like, I read Studying in Scarlet. I thought it was really fun. Um, the Mormons were a little weird. I don't know why they had such a long segment. Like, I understand because it was, like, a story of revenge or whatever. Like, his motivation for why he was doing these evil acts. But it felt like it dragged on a little too long. Um, and it was especially weird because this was the introductory story. Um, but anyway, what was I talking? Oh, Sign of Four. <laughs> but I read Sign of Four, you know, knowing that this is like a really popular book in the Sherlock Holmes series. And I was expecting it to be like amazing, like, and I, or at least interesting. And there were parts that were interesting, but I have to say the main draw for Sherlock Holmes to me is not only Sherlock, but the mysteries. Like, it's a mystery series. I want to see some goofy-ass mysteries. And Sherlock usually always fucking... Sorry, I got a fucking strand of hair here. What the hell? Sherlock always fucking delivers on some goofy-ass mystery shit. Like, it's like... Like, bro does not take it too seriously. And I think that's the fun of Sherlock Holmes. Like, yeah, there can be serious moments. It's, like, still murder. It's dramatic. You know, there's lots of sad stuff, but it's also just, like, fucking, it's like a, a, a soap opera. But, like, only fucking Sherlock Holmes. Like, uh, sorry, spoilers. I mean, this whole video is spoilers. I, but, um, because, like, in Hannah Baskerville, right, like, the big twist is that this guy has been, like, breeding dogs to make the most fucking Chad steroid dog possible to, like, give this one guy a heart attack because he believes in, like, this legend of the demon dog that's in Baskerville fucking goofy ass shit that is goofy as hell like nobody would do that in real life but the thing is that there's actual setup for it and that it's like I don't know doesn't feel like a cop out well in sign of four it's like I don't fucking know like ooh, 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 this tribe of people oh they can do backflips they can go inside they can shoot poison darts they can shoot fucking poison darts out of their ass and that's how they murdered the guy. And, like, I did find the, you know, like, the treasure group beforehand that went after this treasure. And you're like, oh, actually, it's mine. Um, actually, like, that's interesting. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care, okay? Like... If we're talking about just pure enjoyment of the book, the, this... It just, it just isn't. It just isn't. Oh. Also, I don't know. I think Watson can be a very fun, interesting character. And he's obviously, like, the protagonist. He's just kind of like a normal guy. I found him a lot more interesting in Hound of Baskerville than I did A Sign of Four. Like, he did have a romance. And that was, like, cute or whatever. And he was like, oh, I don't deserve this pretty woman or whatever. Cause I, I'm just a, I'm just a little little guy. I'm just a little guy. He's like he doesn't have a lot of self confidence, but I don't know. It doesn't really go anywhere. And like yeah, he like canonically moves in with his wife, but she's like barely around. Like I hate to say it, but besides this book, I feel like her presence in the Sherlock Holmes series is like almost non-existent. At least from what I've read, I haven't read every single Sherlock Holmes story. I've read I think I'm two books away from finishing the entire series but I, I'm not gonna lie to you there could definitely be more to it and I could be just fucking blowing smoke up my ass so if I am wrong feel free to uh correct me but I don't know whoa I I fucking died there I don't know I just I really like Sherlock Holmes like I wasn't personally into reading in high school, um, and then I had a really amazing English teacher, and I started getting into classics, and then uh, I really liked Detective Conan. <laughs> I was really into Detective Conan because I watched as a kid, 
and I knew, what is it, Shinichi Kudo, or Conan Edwiga, really looked up to Sherlock Holmes, was like, I guess I should read Sherlock Holmes, and then I kind of fell in love with the books. Um, I really like murder mysteries, and I love Sherlock as a character. I think he's goofy as hell. The first short story I ever read, bro just like started taking cocaine, like straight cocaine, before the police came to talk with them about a case. It's like, that's fucking ballin', man. Like, Sherlock Holmes in the book is such an OG. Like, bro just fucking does shit. Like, he's such a fucking troll. He's so funny. He has so much whimsy. Like, I don't know. Like, the, 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 the Silver Blaze, one of my favorite short stories. Like, uh, what is it? Like, this, like, horse, right? That is gonna be, like, uh, gonna, like, go to this race. Like, this race horse who's, like, won every single race or whatever suddenly goes missing. And the, the trainer that was supposed to, like, take care of it is dead. And this whole mystery happens. And Sherlock Holmes ends up finding the horse. And he finds out by himself. It's not revealed to the, the reader yet or the uh, audience i'm sorry not to the reader or to any of the characters that sherlock holmes knows this and that he has the horse he just tells the guy like hey um i'll like meet you at the race and the guy's like what the fuck okay so then he just shows up with the race horse that is like mysteriously missing and he's like yeah by the way the horse was the murderer and then he just like lets it race fucking insane fucking baller dude dude is so cool I wish I was as cool as book Sherlock Holmes. I wish I was half as whimsical as book Sherlock Holmes. Bro has whimsy. He has, he has so much whimsy. He has so much whimsy. He's so good. Yeah. Anyway, that's why uh, you should read Hound of Baskerville. And I mean, you should read Sign of Four. I would suggest reading all of Sherlock Holmes books because Sherlock Holmes is epic. But... If you say Sign of Four is better than Hound of Baskerville, um, I will have to respectfully disagree and say that you're that it's a bullshit opinion, and you are wrong. You are wrong. Hound of Baskerville is fucking peak. It is fucking peak. Okay. I'm such a fucking nerd. <laughs>